New details are emerging about the married Canadian couple who were found dead inside their multi-million dollar Toronto home last week. Sources close to the investigation tell the Toronto Sun that billionaire businessman Barry Sherman and his philanthropist wife Honey were discovered hanging from a railing next to their indoor pool with men's leather belts wrapped around their necks. A nearby security camera which could have shown the couple's final moments was disabled shortly before their deaths according to those same sources, making it unclear if the deaths were a suicide, murder-suicide or if the couple was killed in a double murder. When contacted by Daily Mail.com, a spokesperson for the Toronto Police said that the department could not confirm any of the claims made by these sources. Tragic end, Barry and Honey Sherman, above in 2010 were found hanging from the railing by their indoor pool on Friday with men's belts around their necks according to sources. Investigation underway, Toronto police are now investigating if the couple was killed in a suicide, murder-suicide or if this was a double murder. Bizarre, a security camera in the pool room had been shut off at some point before Honey, 70, and Barry, 75, died on Thursday. The bodies of Barry, 75, and Honey, 70, were found by their realtor on Friday morning just days before they were scheduled to head to Florida for the holidays. It was shortly before noon when she called police from the $5.4 million home, which had been put on the market after the couple revealed their plan to build a new home in the city's affluent Forest Hill Iborhood. That, paired with the fact that the couple was preparing to welcome a grandchild and watch their daughter get married this spring, has left Ibis convinced the two were victims of a double homicide. Police will only say the deaths are being investigated as suspicious. It is also being reported that Honey may have died in another location and her body taken to the basement of the home, where she was found next to her husband. There was no suicide note found anywhere in the home, but police have not yet ruled that out as a cause of death for one or both victims. In addition to the belts around their necks, the two also had on jackets that were pulled behind their backs according to sources. There was no sign of forced entry in the house, however, another reason why suicide has likely not been ruled out in the case. That decision had drawn the ire of the couple's four adult children, Lauren, Jonathan, Alexandra and Kelly. In a statement released over the weekend, the four children said, we are shocked and think it's irresponsible that police sources have reportedly advised the media of a theory which none of their family, their friends nor their colleagues believe to be true. Tributes, well-wishers have laid flowers and notes at the scene. The four also paid tribute to their parents, who will be buried on Thursday. Our parents shared an enthusiasm for life and commitment to their family and community totally inconsistent with the rumors regrettably circulated in the media as to the circumstances surrounding their deaths. Barry was a prominent donor to Canada's Liberal Party, drawing on a fortune that Forbes estimated to be around $3.2 billion.